These are the names of fallen officers. Every single one of those names represents a person with a story, with a family, with children, with spouses, with parents. 282 more names will be added this year, marking the end of an era. Those names are the last to be engraved on the original monument created in 1991. It is like an honor for me to engrave in the names because that kind of people were engraving the names. They did a lot of things for the community. Builders thought they'd have till the year 2100 to fill the original memorial. But with the number of officers dying in duty, they ran out of space. There has been and continues to be a very, very real cost in terms of preserving our democracy, keeping our country safe. And that cost is measured every single year in hundreds of lives. This is the original memorial. In 2021, they added 15 more inches of limestone for 12,000 more names. It is set to be filled by 2055. For Bill Alexander, the CEO of the National Law Enforcement Memorial Fund, the space hits close to home. He's a retired police officer. Most law enforcement professionals, certainly the ones that I know, know someone directly whose names are on these walls. But the memorial stands strong and is now cemented in our history, honoring those who died in service and the many lives they continue to touch. And what do you hope that people take away when they come here and they see these names? Closure, satisfaction that their loved ones are being honored. It's a beautiful thing that they have here. In Washington, Ariel Hickson, NBC4.